Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Stil Wolf, W O L F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Franz Halder. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Franz Halder was born on June 30th in the year 1884 in Würzburg, a son of Major General Maximilian Halder and his wife Mathilde. In the year 1902, after he finished school, Franz Halder joined the Bavarian army in the 3rd Field Artil Artillery Regiment, which was commanded by his father. Two years later, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant and transferred to different war schools as well as the artillery and engineer school. From the year 1911 until 1914, Franz Halder attended the War Academy that he left with the qualification for general staff service. In World War I, he served as an orderly in general command of the Third Army Corps, serving on the Western Theater. In January 1915, he became the second staff officer of the 6th Infantry Division. At the end of the World War, he served in Army Group Kronprinz Ruprecht. And for his achievements in the war, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross, as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern. After the First World War, Franz Halder remained in the Reichswehr and served in the 7th Artillery Regiment in the year 1923 when he was promoted to the rank of Major. Two years later, Franz Halder was transferred to the 7th Bavarian Division, and in the year 1929, Halder was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, and two years later he became the Chief of Staff of the 6th Division, ranked as a Colonel. In March 1934, Franz Halder was promoted to the rank of Major General and took command of the 7th Infantry Division one year later. The promotion to the rank of Lieutenant General took place in August 1936. The first time Franz Halder met the German dictator Adolf Hitler was during a practice maneuver that he organized. This meeting helped significantly in Halder's further advancement in the Wehrmacht, since Adolf Hitler was deeply impressed. In February 1938, he was promoted to the rank of General of the Artillery, and in September 1938, after Ludwig Beck ste stepped down from his position as Chief of General Staff of the Army, Franz Halder was named his successor. Both Ludwig Beck and Franz Halder were part of a conspiracy group against Adolf Hitler in case of a military response by the Western Allies during the Sudeten Crisis. The Munich Agreement that granted the Sudetenland to Germany voided these plans. In the aftermath, Franz Halder distanced himself from the conspiracist. As chief of general staff of the army, Franz Halder was part of the planning of the Poland, West and Soviet campaign. On October 27th, in the year 1939, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. When Adolf Hitler pushed for the West campaign to start in the winter time of 1939 against the advice of his generals, Franz Halder, together with Walter von Brauchitsch, who was the supreme commander of the army. They were both ready to arrest Adolf Hitler at the moment he gave the attack order. Since the German dictator gave in, this plan became obsolete and the West campaign was completed successfully in the year 1940. Franz Halder afterwards was promoted to the rank of Colonel General in June 1940. During the summer offense in the year 1942 against the Soviet Union, when Adolf Hitler split Army Group South into Army Group A and B, 
Franz Halder accused him to split the forces of the Wehrmacht and to overstretch their forces. This argument between him and the German dictator led into his dismissal in September 1942. His position was then taken by Kurt Zeitzler. After the July 20th plot, 1944, against Adolf Hitler, the Schutzstaffel SS arrested a majority of suspects whom they believed were involved and tortured them during their interrogations. That's when Franz Halder's involvement in the 1938 conspiracy was uncovered. He therefore was discharged out of the Wehrmacht and thrown into concentration camp Flossenburg. He survived the war and became an American prisoner of war, but was released in the summertime of 1945. During the Nur Nuremberg war trials, Franz Halder testified as a witness. And after the Second World War, he spread the rumor of the clean Wehrmacht. On April 2nd in the year 1972, Franz Halder died aged 87 in Aschau am Chiemgau.